Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, June 27th. It's the third week after Pentecost and week six in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 97 and 99. And 1 Samuel chapter 6, verse 1 to 16. Now please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. You make the ebbing channel dry, while Israel passed the flood. There did the church begin their joy, and triumph in their God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, God most high reigns, let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. Psalms 97 and 99, and please recite them with me. Hallelujah, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice and let the islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you. Righteousness and judgment are the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. Your lightnings light up the world, the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at your presence, at the presence of the God of all the earth. The heavens declared your righteousness, and all the people see your glory. <clears throat> Confounded are they that serve carved images, that delight in idols. Worship God, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad. And the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments. For you are high above all the gods. You are exalted far above all gods. All that love you hate evil. You preserve the souls of the saints, and you deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright of heart. Rejoice in God most high, all righteous people. Give thanks for God's holiness. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Let the people tremble. You sit between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. You are great in Zion, and you are high above all the people. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for it is holy. O mighty lover of justice, you establish equity. You execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All you people exalt God Most High and worship at God's feet, for our God is holy. Moses and Aaron were among God's priests, and Samuel among them that called upon God's name. They called upon God Most High, and God answered them. God spoke to them in the cloudy pillar. They kept God's testimonies and the ordinance that God gave them. You answered them, O beloved God, you forgave them though you took vengeance of their evil deeds. Exalt God Most High and worship at God's holy hill, for our God is holy. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God Most High reigns. Let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. A reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. The Ark of Yahweh remained in the territory of the Philistines for seven months. And then the Philistines summoned the priests and the diviner, diviners and asked, What shall we do about the Ark of the Most High? Tell us with what we shall send it off to its own place. They answered, If you are going to send the ark of God of the God of Israel away, do not send it away without anything. You must also pay an indemnity to him. Then you will be healed, and he will make himself known to you. Otherwise his hand will not turn away from you. 
They asked, What is the indemnity that we should pay? And they answered, Five golden hemorrhoids and five golden mice, corresponding to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For the same plague struck all of you and your lords. You shall make figures of your hemorrhoids and of the mice that are ravaging your land. Thus you shall honor the God of Israel, and perhaps he will lighten the weight of his hand upon you and your gods and your land. Don't harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened theirs. As you know, when he made a mockery of them, they had to let Israel go, and they departed. Therefore get a new cart ready and two milk cows that have not borne a yoke. Harness the cows to the cart, but take back indoors the calves that follow them. Take the ark of Yahweh and place it on the cart, and put next to it, in a chest, the gold objects that you are paying him as indemnity. Send it off and let it go its own way, and then watch. If it goes up the road to Beth Shemesh, to his own territory, it was he who has inflicted this great harm on us. But if not, we shall know that it was not his hand that struck us. It just happened to us by chance. The men did so. They took two milk cows and harnessed them to the cart and shut up their calves indoors. And they placed the ark of Yahweh on the cart together with the chest, the golden mice, and the figures of their hemorrhoids. The cows went straight ahead along the road to Beth Shemesh. They went along a single high road, lowing as they went, turning off neither to the right nor the left. And the lords of the Philistines walked behind them as far as the border of Beth Shemesh. The people of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley. And they looked up and they saw the ark, and they rejoiced when they saw it. The cart came into the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh, and it stopped there. They split up the wood of the cart and presented the cows as a burnt offering to Yahweh. A large stone was there, and the Levites took down the ark of Yahweh and the chest beside it containing the gold objects and placed them on the large stone. And then the men of Beth Shemesh presented burnt offerings and other sacrifices to Yahweh that day. The five lords of the Philistines saw this and returned the same day to Ekron. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You love justice and establish equity for your people and for the nations of the earth, O mighty God. We exalt you with our tongues and we worship you in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.